our newsroom. Severe flooding in Dearborn happening again tonight. Look at this, a video of a manhole near Oakman and Ford Road, and you can see that water gushing up from the street. It's a problem drivers have seen week after week as heavy rains rock Metro Detroit. Now's a good time to bring in Diane Cross with MDOT. She's joined us now on the phone. Uh, Diane, if you can hear me okay, can you just walk us through some of the problems that drivers might be seeing out there on the roads right now? You're going to see a lot of problems on the roads right now, Brian, because unfortunately we're having power outages with these storms. And when we do not have power, our pump houses cannot work. And right now we've got the Southfield Freeway M39 closed at Grand River. We've got 75 near 8 to 9 mile road. We've got flooding there that unfortunately we've got cars that are in that water and without power we're not able to get these pump houses going so we've got crews heading out to a number of these areas where we're dealing without power and trying to catch or check the catch basins to make sure there's no debris affecting any of that the storm came in quick and we've got a lot of flooding in a lot of spots do, do you have diane generators that are that are going with these crews to those areas to try to get those water pumps working again well, that does take a little bit of time it, uh, to get a generator to a pump house. So that'll be one of the things the crews will be trying also to get these going again and trying to work with DTE to find out what a schedule might be on when we can get these uh, going again because we've got probably at least a couple dozen areas where we do have flooding and standing water. And again, a warning to everybody, do not drive into standing water you don't know what has washed away the roadway, a manhole cover. There may be car parts that have been washed down into that in the flash flood. So please do not drive into standing water. We know FEMA has been on the ground uh, as late as today, surveying some of the damage, trying to help people out from the flooding just a handful of weeks ago, where we saw those eye opening images, Diane, uh, of cars on on the highways just abandoned and fully submerged is what we are experiencing tonight getting anywhere near that level? Well, it's a little early to say, but I would say we're not going to reach that kind of level because these storms have kind of come in fast, dumped a lot of rain in a short amount of time, and then they're passing through. So we're not getting the days that we had last time. So I don't expect it to be as bad as last time. But again, you got to be cautious. We got to be careful and we got to get power back on. All right, Diane Cross with MDOT. Thank you so much for your time, Diane, and we'll check back in with you as we learn more. Thank you, Brian.